everyone and welcome to Badger Chat episode 3. I'm here and Josh is behind the camera and we've got a really exciting episode for you today so come with me. So this is our new wildlife zone and I'm going to take you on a little tour. So over here we've got our log pile and various bark and grass pile. Over here we've kind of got a bit of a rockery habitat going on and over here we've got some corrugated plastic um, which is for our reptile friends. In here this is stag beetle habitat so hopefully we're going to be inviting lots of stag beetles here this year. Then we've got a little pond um, which hopefully lots of animals um, and invertebrates are going to make the use of this year as well. But the main event is up here. This is our new bird zone, complete with feeders, fat balls and a bird table. And we're going to show you the bird species that we've been able to capture on our night vision cameras, but in the daytime. And we're also going to show you the other animals that we've managed to capture up here over the last couple of weeks. We hope you enjoy the episode. Okay, and the first bird we have is a starlin who is quite happily eating on the bird feeder there. Are these, are these also starlings? Yeah, these guys are more starlings. Um, do you get starlings in your garden? I don't really know. I haven't really seen many birds in my garden. You're quite new to all this birding lark. Yeah. I, it, Pun it, not intended. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been this year that I've really started to pay attention to the birds that are around actually. So um, we know these guys are starlings because they're kind of they're this blackish brown um, and then they've got speckles all over them. They're really beautiful birds. Kind of um, like stars. Yeah, kind of like stars. Hence the I name. Wonder if that's why they're called starlings. Maybe. Don't know. Someone tell us that in the comments. Um, they've got yellow bills and maybe you'll see later on in the year um, that the juveniles will have a darker brown bill. Um, but that'll be a bit later on in the year. So these guys are making use of our bird feeder and the bird table. And there's a little blackbird down the bottom. You can just see a head poking up and down. I think that's a female blackbird. Yep, it is. Because she's gold and she's also brown herself. And the males will have an um, orange bill? Yep. Okay. Oh, males will have like a, a yellowy bill. Oh. We'll, we'll see that in a minute. Ta da! Ah, there's our male blackbird. So with that yellow bill and then the yellow ring around the eye as well. On the right hand side of the screen, can you see our robin friend who's now on the bird table? Seen plenty of robins before. That's one I can identify. <laughs> That's a good start. That's a good start. And this one's not on a Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in our next clip, we've got a collared dove and a sparrow or multiple sparrows. So you can see the sparrow's just flown off over the back there, if you were quick enough. And the collared dove is going to enter in the right hand side of the screen in a moment. There we go. Sift by magic. Kind of like a smaller looking pigeon, at least that's how I think of them. Yeah, they're quite sweet, I think. Um, they've got this kind of incomplete collar which goes around the back of their neck, um, which hopefully we'll get a closer view of in a minute. Um, and then we've got a mouse sparrow in the right hand corner as well. So the males have got kind of more black on their facial features, um, and the females um, are kind of fully brown and not so decorative on their face, if you can call a bird decorative. And also we've got Dunnock in the left hand corner. Have you seen any of them about? I, maybe I have, but I'm not sure if I, if I would recognise them. So I, I like to refer to them as stealth sparrows. Stealth sparrows, what's Yeah, that? because they're usually going around on their own. They don't usually go around in a flock like sparrows do. Um, and they'll pop around on the floor um, without even knowing it. That's quite interesting there, just watching the robin follow him and the collar dove in over the back there making that odd sound that they make when they fly or land or fly off and now we have a blue tit um, which is down the left corner of the screen just gone off the left corner of the screen we'll be back oh there he is there's our little blue tit on the feeder it's quite sweet isn't it yeah not much food left for them though. No, I'm going to blame um, that on the starlings. They've eaten it all. Oh, I've looted it's back. 
And we think our blue tits are actually nesting in the solar panel, which is just above this, um, which will be quite interesting to see later on in the year. So how will, we, how will we know if they're nesting? Will we hear the, hear the chicks? Or? Well, yeah, we'll probably see them going in and out quite a bit, okay. um, and visiting it quite a lot. Okay. And they'll probably start doing a warning call and shouting at us. If um, we get too close. If we get too close, or as soon as we appear, as the solar panel is extremely close to the, to the bird tables and stuff. And Dunnock's back in the right-hand corner, looking very sweet. And then we have a great tip. This is the best. You ready for this? He does a handstand, okay? You've never seen a great tip do a handstand before. I've never seen Look a great tip before. There you go. And, and a blue tip on the bird table and now the feeder. And now he's going straight back to where the great tip went. So what's the, the, what's the difference between the great tip and the blue tip? They look quite similar to me. They do. So the blue tip, I think, are quite sweet. Mm. Okay, that's not a technical term. But um, so you've got the great tip on the bird feeder right now. They've got that big black stripe down the front of him and again on the bird feeder and that kind of more of a black cap on their head um, whereas the blue tits don't have so much of that on, on their faces and they, I feel like blue tits are lighter in colour and slightly smaller and it's not just birds on bird cam is there? No we've got a rabbit! Even the rabbits have joined us which is quite nice and rabbit in the dark with blackbird. It's quite sweet. Yeah, they don't seem too phased by each other. Yeah, maybe they're friends. Maybe. Yeah. And then who's this? We've got badgers. They've come a long way to visit the bird table. They have. They've walked quite a way to get here. Cleaning up the peanuts, I imagine. Any other mess that the birds might have left? There was a load of mess left over underneath the bird feeder. And they're quite messy, so. But it's okay, we've got the cleanup team in the form of quite a damp looking badger. You can hear him eating. He's cute. And then the Wardeness Panther returned. And if you haven't seen our previous episode of Badger Cam, then you should definitely go and check that out because we got our first footage of the animals in the snow, which was really exciting. You can see all the snow on his fur. It's all like bundled up. It was quite sweet. We hope you had fun in the snow. wonder if any of you went out tracking for animals looking for their footprints. If you did, um, comment below. We want to know what you found. Why do I feel like I can hear him sniffing? Thank you for watching this week's episode of Badger Chats. Hope you enjoyed our new if you want to ask us any questions and follow us on social media at Wilderness UK. Bye bye.